Houston, Texas. Officer Michael Ruby tracks down a car with a reported armed suspect. But details are sketchy. A caller said that he had shot at another vehicle. Unknown reason why. There appears to be a woman driver and a male passenger in the back. What's clear is they aren't going to cooperate. Units from multiple agencies surround the sedan, trying to box it in. That's when one of the officers sees the grim reality. He could see the gun laying across there, pointed right at her head. And that's when he yelled, it's a hostage situation. The hostage taker is Jeremy Roberson. And he's kidnapped his former girlfriend. Cruisers hang back, not wanting to force the gunman's hand. But suddenly, there's a traffic jam. Roberson orders his ex to pass on the shoulder. The vehicle going to shoulder. No luck. Shoulder's blocked. The vehicle was trapped in by a pickup truck that was trying to get out of the way. Shot fired! Shot fired! He just shot into another vehicle. I really thought that he had just killed somebody right in front of me. The pickup driver clears a path, having narrowly escaped injury. Overhead, choppers swoop in and soon witness a horrifying sequence of events. And you can see a cruiser moves in now. Was that the rear window flying? Oh, and they slam into the wall! I observed the, the back window come out of the car. I saw the barrel of the shotgun pointing at us, and I said, oh, no, here we go. Hey, this guy's shooting at us right now. I could hear the little plink noises coming off of the, uh, off the hood. To get a clear shot at police, Roberson kicks out the glass, startling his victim into a near wipeout. Then, as officers dodge the buckshot... An ominous message comes over Ruby's radio. Dispatch tells us that there's an amber alert out on the on this car. It changed everything. The girlfriend's daughter is also a hostage. But the warning hasn't reached other departments yet. And mom is about to do something desperate. She opens her door looking for an opportunity. With Roberson continuing to shoot at police, she makes her move. They're coming up on some traffic here. Oh, just slammed into the truck. The driver was thrown out, and the car is still going. It's crossing the shoulder, heading onto the grass. An unbelievable accident here. Cruisers are moving in. She hit the truck. All of a sudden, you know, she comes flying out of the car on the freeway. Trusting her airbag to save her life, the woman cuts hard right. Vehicle's break out, break out. And plows headlong into the back of a pickup. She's thrown free. But instantly hops to her feet unscathed. The status of those still inside the vehicle is unknown. I just maneuver my car in between her and the guy with the gun that was still in the car. Start hearing shots being fired from all the different police agencies, and it was chaos. They didn't know that there was a child in the car. I started running, screaming there was a kid in the car. As loud as I could, because I was scared to death that that poor kid was going to get hurt. Officers quickly hold their fire, not knowing what damage has been done. Putting their own lives on the line, they approach the wreck when suddenly, the gunman stirs weapon at the ready.
Police rush in to rescue the daughter, pulling her unharmed from her safety seat. As they whisk her into the clear, Roberson makes one last stand. Finally, it's over. The suspect's days of terrorizing others have come to an end without an innocent person being hurt. With the accidents and all the gunfire that took place, it, it was just a miracle of God that that child was not injured. And the woman, too, being thrown out of the car. She didn't get hit by another car. She was extremely blessed on the outcome.